right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another fantastic episode of your show. That's right. It's the Kickout Crew. I want to thank everybody for uh, watching last week. Uh, you know, did it solo, didn't like it, but uh, was a little nervous, but hey, I had fun doing it. And it was cool to, uh, you know, uh, just watch along, chill and everything. Uh, that being said, glad uh, there's other people on the screen today. So, uh, you know, if you like last yeah. week, pretty sure you're going to love this week. So uh, we got a lot going on uh, this week. Obviously, follow us on all social media platforms. And, uh, you know, let's sit back and relax. And, hey, let's have a good time. You know what makes me have a good time? Mike. Boom. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Mike, uh, what you got this <laughs> week for us? Well, I mean, I want to try something a little bit new. Um, I was just messing around trying to figure out, you know, what we could talk about this week and everything else. And I thought about some weird questions to ask somebody. I got a couple for y'all. The first one is, can someone with one eye wink at you? Or are they blinking at you? Which one? Good one. You want to answer? Can a person with one eye wink at you? Yes. Yeah. That is a good question. <laughs> See, I mean, it, I don't know. Is that what it is? I don't know. Another one is if Cinderella's shoe fits so perfect, why did it fall off? Good question. I mean, for real, this should have never fell off. Uh, see, I got a couple more other ones here. If two vegans are arguing, is it still considered beef? <laughs> <laughs> I like mean, it. Don't know. Let's see. I got another good one. Why doesn't Tarzan ever go over here? <laughs> Rips his hair out. I don't know. That's a good one. <laughs> He's never done it. All right, two more. Why is sandwich bread square and lunch meat round? Because it's processed. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> And I got one more, and uh, this one is, when a bald guy takes a shower, how far up his face is it before he gets to his head? You know, like when he's washing. So, I asked somebody special that we might know. Uh-oh. <laughs> we can't get the video up, so I'm going to try to do the audio and see how this works. Hello there, everyone. So, Mike reached out to me last night and said he had a question for me. First off, I'm going to let you know, no, I'm not a Penn State fan. Uh, I know my daughter's, you all know my daughter's not going to Pitt. You also know I'm a Notre Dame fan. But this was a gift that I'm wearing it. So there they have it. But Mike asked me, as a bold man, where does my face stop and my head start when I'm taking a shower? So basically he's saying, you don't have any hair. So where does the shampoo come in? Where does the filter come in? So I'll tell you right now, I had to read it three or four times because if, as you know, Mike Whitaker, he should not be doing voice to text as it is. But bottom line is, I don't do any shampoo. Everything I put on my body, I put on my head, start to finish. So there's your answer to your question, Mike. I hope that's exactly what you were looking for. If you guys haven't checked out last week's episode of James One Man Show, make sure you do it. And remember, always kick out a two. So there we have it. And then himself, Mr. Brad, welcome back to the show. So that's pretty much all I really got. Like, I just seen that, trying to have a little fun since uh, somebody had to pick this damn match up, we had to watch. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, could have picked anything on the card, really. But hey, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Why not? And what match is it? Whew. Buckle up, Buckaroos! It is uh, <clears throat> Britt Baker versus Big Swole in a tooth and nail match. Who? There we go. Uh, it took place at All Out 2020. I like that big ass uh, tooth in the middle. I think that's cool. That's a good. That was a good addition. I thought as well. Yes. <laughs> uh, All Out 2020, uh, September 5th, 2020 was when the pay per view took place. But this was pre shot. The pay per view was at Daly's place in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Great place. I considered it. You know. Uh, the venue that got me back into wrestling because I went there so many times during uh, the COVID era. 
But you know, this... I didn't didn't think about didn't think about getting a picture of Daly's place because all I was trying to figure out was how to find a picture of a uh, Doctor Britt Baker's office. Oh and yeah, I thought it'd be really weird. Really weird to post a picture of her dental office. Yeah, the, it just took place in uh, we'll just say Winter Park, Florida, is where her. Uh, there we go. Yeah, because I didn't find the exact location. I was like, it's probably for the best. <laughs> you know, probably. <laughs> Knowing all of the wrestling weirdos out there, yeah, yeah probably a good move. It gets a little strange out there if you delve too far. <laughs> I'm sure she's making a little bit of extra money out there. True. Her office is slam packed. <laughs> But it had an attendance of 700 to 750. Obviously, this is COVID era, so, you know, limited attendance was had. Had a buy rate of, uh, I saw 90,000, I saw 100,000, and I saw 110,000. So, had a buy rate of one of those. At least 90, I guess, is what we'll say. You know, had a match. Somewhere in the thousands. Yeah, right. You know, 20,000. <laughs> like, who knows? Like one one fifth of the total. Nah, whatever. <laughs> nah, good enough. <laughs> At a match length of six minutes and eighteen seconds. But uh, hey, Mike, enlighten us. Why this match? Um, because I really thought it was a different match, and I didn't know it was this match. So that's on me. I should have watched it before I picked it. Yeah. I mean, that, that would have made but, sense. But, hey, you know what? We're going to roll with the punches, and we're going to get through this. Well, and All Out is this weekend, so it's kind of timely. So, you know, that's the only good uh, part of it, I guess. Uh, it's on YouTube, so uh, obviously you can look it up on YouTube. I believe I've... Uh, Definitely. As my phone takes forever to load. Uh, hey, be sure to stop by and say hi if you see us in Chicago. Right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a little bit longer to load on my time. Oh, here we go. So uh, there is a version of this on YouTube, like I said. James Stewart posted it. Uh, you know, may have just added his name right there. But uh, it's... Uh, Britt Baker, Big Swole, Tooth and Nail Fight, and Baker's Dentist Office. There could be a surprise cameo in here from one of my favorite people on the planet, who I'll get to see this weekend, oh, so uh, shout out to that. But uh, we'll get there when we get there. So, uh, hey, fellas, do y'all have the match queued up? I'm ready. I'm ready. So, uh, anybody want to do a countdown? Three, two, one, go ahead. And we're off. And my volume is all the way up. There we go. Right, there's the copyright already. <laughs> yeah. We're already shut off. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Copyright himself, James, <laughs> getting it busted <laughs> in the first second. But yeah, we see Swole pull up in a uh, a car with, with ref in tow. I just find it odd that she travels yeah. around with the referee. Anybody else? <laughs> I mean... Here we oh, are. Seems... But hey, you got to be ready for a fight anywhere, Brian, I guess. That's <laughs> true. <up. laughs> it's true. That's why I take Adam usually everywhere I go when I travel. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. Oh, Dude. Rebel. Even though they say yeah. Reba a ton in this match. <laughs> That's what I, I had that in part of my notes. Is them kept going on Reba. It's like, well, Reba that, was, that, was, that was part of the fun of this character with Dr. Britt Baker, I thought, was it was – she would always mispronounce her name. It was Rebel or Reba, you know, just all these different things just to kind of get a laugh out of it, you know? Yeah. Man, I miss Rebel. We need to see her on TV. I agree. But shout out to y'all, Sarah, this weekend. Yeah. yeah. Get to see her in person. And then uh, maybe she'll be all out on Saturday. <laughs> maybe. Awesome. So, Big Swole, uh, somebody that had a lot of potential there in the early stages of AEW really kind of came on a lot bigger during the pandemic era. What are you guys' thoughts? Big Swole. Did you guys see the upside or was she just kind of another one of the, just the players that you thought in AEW there? Um, well, I really didn't watch a lot of it, but when I did see her, I thought she was just somebody there. 
I thought at the at the beginning it seemed like they were pushing her pretty big. So I thought that the future would be bright for Big Swole. And uh, it kind of fell flat, like, pretty fast. You know, I don't know if she had any uh, issues or anything. I don't know. But it did feel like when she first got there, it was go time. And then, like, within three months, it's just, like, pfft, done. Mm. Isn't that when they start pay- pushing uh, Jade, though? Right when she started falling off? Uh, no, uh, Jade was still a little ways to come. She was starting, but she hadn't made the TV presence yet. Okay. That, that always sure I couldn't remember. Now they're going crazy. Oh, yeah. There's Reba. Again, boom. She just gets the crap beat out of her. Not a girl rebel. I mean, who doesn't want to beat up their dentist? I mean, can we all just agree on that? <laughs> right. Yeah. I like how she's a golf cart behind her office. Hey, man. You yeah, it's Florida. That's how, you get, that's how you get around in Florida. Am I wrong, James? Mm-hmm. That's exactly correct, actually. That's, uh, you know, that's half the method of transportation. You know that, Mike. <laughs> I'm just saying. And here comes Reba again. They keep like, she just threw her off. The hell did she do that for? Oh man! Now we're on top of this here. It is a cool looking mural in the background, though. Yeah, it is pretty neat. I wonder if anybody uh, around the uh, location was like, "Holy shit! That that's my dentist beating up somebody." <laughs> you know? Well, I was gonna say, do you think at this point too, like, obviously, clearly, you're in a business here. Are you telling your surrounding businesses, "Hey, we're about to have a match here. Ignore us. Just <laughs> right. I mean, you be cool, so. everybody. Be cool." Oh man. No, uh, not Rebel in the trash. No, Rebel's uh, above the trash. Ah, uh. man. But there's that crutch, and it is clutch. Mm. Man. It just happens to be one in there. Yeah, you know, it's behind the dentist's office. Crutch. Why not? <laughs> Bam. And then Britt, my nose, I just got it fixed. <laughs> I like that line she said that. I always enjoyed how she had the broken nose, but came out in a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, Brian, who's our referee? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, it does appear to be Mike Posey. Oh. Like, Thanks. I'm glad you came up with that one. Yeah. <laughs> I am sad to know that I know most of the referees there. So, <laughs> other people know refs too, Adam. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> so, at, at this point, too, as we all have kind of discussed, you know, Britt Baker famously, you know, DMD, you know, dentist. Would you be more inclined to go to a dentist if uh, they were a pro wrestler, pro, or just some form of famous celebrity? Would that make you more inclined to go to the dentist? I mean, if you go just because of that, you're kind of stalking. But if you go and find out that happens, you know, that's pretty cool. They had to get the degree and just because they're famous doesn't mean they're any special. So, yeah, maybe it's a uh, dental awareness, you know? Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't, yeah, if you choose, like, I'm going to go to Britt Baker as my dentist, that's a little, you know, depending on the situation, that's a little much. Right. Like I'm not from Georgia, clients, Georgia so. down in Florida, or wherever she's at. Uh, <laughs> yeah. On and on. Well, let's just be realistic. Wrestling fans are weird. So you can see, you just know there's somebody out there who's like, I'm going to go to her because, you know, I'm not going to admit I'm a fan until, you know, I'm in there. But yeah, like, exactly. I see you on AEW every week. And then now you're just a weirdo who's. Yep. I'd say she takes. Special clients. So don't take just any random people. It's true. 
Also, as a young kid, you couldn't convince me that a dentist did not just have a random drill in their <laughs> office because um, I thought that's how they always just tortured the people with bad teeth. Uh, oh, look at she got a nanner on her head. <laughs> Shout out to Shivani for that line. But yeah, uh, you know, even Isaac Gankum had the drilling sound as his music. Mm-hmm. That is true. Yep. Shout out to using needles. Oh, got a ah, uh, oh Jesus! No. With the sh- with the needle, I mean, is that uh, is that right? My God, the drug culture in Florida strikes again. <laughs> oh, right, <laughs> that's poison. You stabbed her. You stabbed I, her. I wouldn't go poison, but all right. <laughs> and then ruins the diploma. Uh. Can I just say, even with chairs, I find that spot completely ridiculous. Just hold this for one second. Yeah, yeah. for real. And then I'm going to punch you. <laughs> just right in front of your face. Make yep. sure the back elbow. Now she's going for the... <laughs> you know, and this was... Oxygen. Oh, oh no, sleeping no. gas. Yes, I was about to say. Nope, we're going to put her to sleep. Yeah. So now I'm going to give you Novocaine. I'm going to give you a sleeping gas, too. I, I would just like to point out that she's clearly been pinning her this entire time. Um, but it wasn't mm-hmm. until that got happened that they were like, okay, now we'll call the match. And when they put and the last gas winner. on her, JR is like, I love that stuff. <laughs> ah. So since Swole ripped her diploma, does that mean she's not a dentist anymore? I don't know. But right, go get another one. We take the test. Wouldn't that be crazy if that's how it worked? Oh, I ripped my diploma. Well, you're not a dentist. Go back to school. Oh, then next mm-hmm. time, well, next time AEW travels around there, she like fights the dean for like diploma <laughs> proof or something. <laughs> yes, that's exactly how it works. <laughs> yeah, they put it on a fucking a pole match. It's on a ladder match, you know. Yep, that's exactly how this works. That's how a degree should work. If you would like your degree, climb the ladder, make yourself mm-hmm. famous, and there's your diploma. I mean, we've seen paternity tests decided on a ladder match, so why not degree? This is true. You never know what's going to happen. You never know. But that is uh, Mike's match. Mike's whatever that is. (laughs) All out 2020. Great, great stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I said I completely didn't know it was that match when I picked it. But can I ask what match you were going for, Mike? That one where she was covered in blood when she went to that. It's like St. Patrick's Day. I know. (laughs) That's the match with Thunder Rosa. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that one. (laughs) So you read you read tooth and nail and thought Thunder Rosa St. Patrick's Day. Thunder (laughs) Rosa. Hey. That's what I was thinking. I would I didn't know. So how much I watched it back then. I forgot it was Thunder Rose that she had that match with. So, anyways, um, James, we got anything else? Uh, yeah. Well, we have all out this weekend. You know, uh, all out is uh, you know, approaching obviously, and it's this weekend. So, as everybody listens to this, hopefully, we're hanging out in Chicago, having a uh, way too many beers. <laughs> Maybe that comments for myself. And, uh, you know, say hi to my dad. He'll damn sure say hi to you. <laughs> That's for sure. Yes, he will. But, uh, yeah. We'll be having fun uh, kicking it with the homies. Obviously, it's Top Guy Weekend that we were referencing from uh, Ad Free Shows. Uh, it's always been a big thing this year with uh, the event being on Saturday. And who knows what will happen? We seem like we got uh, some cool stuff lined up Friday, cool stuff lined up Saturday, and then a little watch party. Hopefully, uh, it'd be cool if they cater that. <laughs> but, uh, I digress. I, hope so. I would assume like some wings and some like you know snack ass bar food type stuff. Maybe cool. we'll uh, <laughs> maybe we'll make that happen when we're there. Like Conrad, you ain't gonna give us food, bro. Like what the fuck, Connor? What are you doing? <laughs> he said there's a Uber app. Evan, I know you got a company card. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> there we go. You can make it happen. But no. Uh, <clears throat> I know uh, Jack Perry taking on Daniel Bronson. Taking on who? (laughs) (laughs) Who's he taking on? (laughs) 
<laughs> a relative newcomer who just won the AEW World Title. That'd Daniel be his Bryan name if he left, I guess, and went to like TNA or something. If he had to go back to WWE, they're like, we can't use Daniel Bryan again. <laughs> okay. Call him whatever we want. Uh, but do you think they'll actually let Jack Perry win that shit in uh, oh, Chicago geez. a year after, you know? Everything? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that's true, too. Just to... Or do you think Christian's gonna fuck around and you know do something? Hmm. I I could see that, but I think they'll let Brian. I think Brian gets this one. <laughs> I so I'm not going to all out. I thought about going myself, but I figured the watch party would be a ton of fun. But I kind of want to go just to feel the heat in that building for Jack Perry. Yeah, um, because you know that 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 crowd is gonna eat him alive. True. Yeah. And it's gonna be amazing. I bet his entrance is gonna be awesome. Yeah. Like with that goat yeah, mask on and like scapegoat stuff. I bet it's gonna be like loud, like heat. I do yeah, want to see I, Hangman in the cage. Hangman and Swerve in the cage. That's gonna be that'd be a that's good gonna be good. Yep. Well, it's like I said last week, man. People hate on Hangman, but it's like Hangman and Swerve, awesome. Hangman and Jarrett, awesome. Hangman mm. and uh what Daniel Bronson? Awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, so I think he's a, you know, y'all can just deal with Hangman. That's all I'm saying. He's better than you think. It's true. Very true. Yeah. That's uh really got nothing much this week. Just looking forward to Chicago. Brian, you got anything? So talking about Chicago, talking about, you know, obviously talking about all out, you know, the, Big show for the weekend here, you know. Uh, makes me want to talk to you guys about your favorite wrestling shows. What what is a live event show? Whether it was you know uh, just a random indie show or a major show from a major company. What's a show you have been to where you just got into it? The crowd got you into it. The matches were great. What's a show that you've attended live that's made you feel that way? I think the first all out that we went to for Top Guy Weekend. The first Top Guy <laughs> Weekend. Chicago. That was fucking amazing. Yeah. That was that was amazing. What made it so great? I don't know. It was just my first like big, big live event, like for currently. Like, I mean, for what it is now. Like I haven't been in like before then it was years and years before I even been to an event. So I it was just pretty cool. Yeah. James? I got it. Uh double or nothing twenty twenty one. Uh it was the first uh like live one at Daly's place where they had the full crowd, no more COVID restrictions. Mm, yep. Yep. And uh hangman open against Brian Cage. And then it had that triple threat match for the title at the end. Awesome. The crowd was just lit. Uh Sting. Sting wrestled uh fucking uh uh Scorpio and uh was it SCU or something? Ethan Page. Yep, and Ethan Page, yeah. Yeah. So and Sting's first like because I went to the movie match pay-per-view. But this was like Sting's first like pay per view match match back, and that was really cool as fuck. That was a great weekend too. But yeah, I think from like start to finish, I really enjoyed that card a whole hell of a lot. Yeah, yeah. nice. Now that's that's a good choice as well. Um, I've got to be the homer here. I got I got to be different here. I, for me, one that got me was uh, WrestleMania thirty eight, the Dallas show. Oh, man. Um. The card was the card was good, but like the matches and the crowd made it great. The return of Cody Rhodes, um, that entrance was magic. Like just the crowd was so into that. Everybody, the thought was it had to be Cody, and then when the music hit, the crowd erupts. And then of course the main event, and you hear that glass shatter. Mm-hmm. And for the guys my you know our age who grew up with that, like to get that one more time was just. Like all the chills, all the feels come back, and you just you relive that as a kid again. And to have that moment was uh, something I'll never forget. So, and to be there live for Austin's last match is you know something that uh, will stick with me for a long time. So, but on that note, we have I have to talk about other things other than wrestling too. This is the first yeah. week of college football. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we've all got our fandoms here. You know, Texas, Georgia. You know. We've got to talk a little college football. Week one in the books. 
What do you guys think of opening week? How do you think your teams are looking? Texas plays at Michigan. So here we go. That's, that's <laughs> the game. Yep. Week two. Here that is the game. We go. <laughs> you know, so that's going to be a fun Saturday at uh, Chicago, kind of trying to like, hey, have a fun, have a fun, or like checking the TV, checking my phone. Luckily for you, that's a noon kick. That's the early kick. So, like, there's not a lot oh, usually going on first. Yeah, it's the noon kick. So, that's 11 o'clock Chicago. So, yeah. We usually may not eat lunch going... somewhere to watch that. Exactly. And Arch Manning got in the game last week, too. Threw a touchdown. Looked good. So, threw a touchdown in a rush for a touchdown. Exactly. I'm telling you, man, just to have him as the number two is like, I'm, I'm drinking the Kool Aid. Shout out Big Red, <laughs> fuck Nebraska, but I'm drinking the cool. Ah, ah, <laughs> mm. Nebraska does look salty though, man. Ooh, it could be a good year for the old chances. Huskers. I haven't said that in like got some 25. Exactly. Mike Georgia, of course, puts the whooping on Clemson. I mean, well, as always. We got some more work to do, but I think we're gonna be a strong team this year. Definitely. That looks really team. good. Yeah. yeah. So and uh James already brought it up, Nebraska man here. Uh True freshman starting in Dylan Riola looked amazing, confident. The big game, Colorado night game, Saturday night. So naturally, I'll be watching all out, but my phone will have the uh, game on uh, so that I could watch the game. But, you know, it's just nice to have, uh, I'm not going to call it overconfidence, but just to have some actual, like something to look forward to. It's kind of nice. You know, we've lost that the last few years. So. But, you know, it's it just great to have college football back. I think that's the main thing. You know, we all we are all wrestling fans, but we are all football fans. So I think everybody, you know, a lot of people out there are football fans. So to see some football back out there is uh, kind of nice to see. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's all I got right now. So, James, back to you, buddy. I like it. Uh, man, Nebraska, actually some good, some hope. This is, you know, the first yes. time in a long time. Oh, that's yes. nuts. But, hey, we'll see how the season unravels. Me and Mike now are both uh, big, uh, or, I mean, SEC, you know, Nebraska's mm-hmm. Big Ten. Yep. So, we'll see the main two, co- The main two conferences. <laughs> right, yeah. Let's we'll just be realistic here. For real. <sighs> but, yeah, anybody yeah, else got year. anything they want to add? Mike, good. you good? Yeah, I just think it's going to be a good year for college football this year, so, Let's see how it goes. It's the first year of the playoff. Yep. 12 team playoff. Yep. But only one team matters, and that's Texas because they're going to win it all. So I can't wait. No. Over Georgia, maybe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Got to win that SEC first. Beat them in the SEC, and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> well, but now everybody, every team could be positioned all crazy. So they could like play Can again, I- you know? I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this out there, and this is the thing I do hate is they did away with divisions in all of this and all of them basically. So now it's just the best records. Right. You know, annoyed I'm gonna be in the Big Ten if I have to see Ohio State, and Michigan two weeks in a row. Like that's <laughs> just gonna annoy me. That's true. If Iowa could score any points, that would make the Big Ten really exciting. They scored forty this weekend. Like, <laughs> what is this? No, yeah, so. that's good. It's a fun time. It's a it's the best time of the year. You got good wrestling going on and yep. football back. So, yep, it's the start of and it's the start of like holiday season. Bang, 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 bang. Like you know, next thing you know, it's February. And it's like what the fuck. But yeah, exactly. Anybody got anything no. else they want to add, Mike? No, uh-huh. um, I'm good this week. They're going to make a short and sweet show this week. I was Seems about like. to say, a 10-minute match, man, is, uh, <laughs> you know, going to finish this one about 35 minutes. Well, so. well usually we got Adam talking for 90% of the time. So, Oh. oh. I'm not going to. Oh. <laughs> Look at the mic over here. It's all good. We should have done a bio of some wrestler in his honor. I didn't even think about that until just now. But hey, maybe next week. Right, next week uh, gonna be tricky. I'm gonna be flying back on Monday, so who's who knows? Oh yeah. 
Next but hey, it seems like every every week is a little bit tricky on uh, you. Every week it seems like it's uh, yeah, it's a randomness of the shows. May have to throw in a couple of previous hosts uh, on some things. I know one person's about to post up about uh, you know, dribbling himself on in. I'll tell you that much. But yeah, who knows? Because I know. Uh, but next week we'll have a lot to talk about about Chicago, I guess. Yes. And uh, we'll have to cover some match, but uh, who knows what? Uh, I'm sure Mike will pick n- another dandy. I ain't picking that <laughs> again. Hear that? No, nah, I'm kidding. We'll come up with some. We'll be sure to post it on the socials. Uh, you know, short episode, sweet episode this time. But yeah, we got laundry, we got packing, we got a little couple days of work for a lot of days of fun. So uh, exactly. I guess from uh, from our family to yours. Enjoy this Labor Day weekend, even though it's, uh, you know, past Labor Day. But enjoy the next uh, days after that also, because don't just concentrate on having good one day. Why not have good on all the days? Because that's what we do on your show. We have fun times because we kick out of the bad times. Because when life gets you down, you kick out hey, it too. Hey, wait, wait, time, 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 time. I was going to go- keep on going and keep on going and keep on going and Keep on going and do your own. I do my thing and all that other stuff. But speaking of my thing, I think we forgot a thing. What, what thing did we forget? Wait, what? Oh, fuck. Anybody hungry? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done this in a while, folks. Give us a break. Cut some slack. <laughs> Oh, well, I sure am hungry. So, <laughs> Mike, what you got for us this week? Yeah. Woo! Oh, <laughs> Can't wait. Well, Looking well, forward to this. Gotta get it in. I guess. Hopefully, this is a good one. So, as we were talking earlier, <laughs> football's back. So, what better way to have a bunch of little snacks around football, right? What about some banana pepper poppers? Oh, changing the game. Doing? Okay. So first off, you get banana peppers, or you can do jalapeno, you can mix them up, do whatever kind of hot peppers you like. They're all good. You want to get a muffin pan. In that muffin pan, you want to put a little bit of cheese on the bottom, then put your peppers with some Italian seasoning on there. And then you can add another top, and you can put a pepperoni on there if you want or something. And a little bit more cheese, throw it in the oven, bake it like 325 for like 15 minutes until it gets nice and crisp. Take it out and serve with ranch or marinara sauce, and boy, come out something good. It's excellent. That does sound bomb with some ranch. Sounds really good. Yeah, I'm telling you. Do you use like block cheese or shredded cheese? What no, type of cheese? cheese? Like mozzarella uh, spreaded, like shredded cheese, mozzarella spreaded cheese, or whatever. You can use any kind of cheese, whatever you like. Like that's the good part about it. You can use cheddar cheese if you like cheddar cheese. And it does sound good. So, yeah, there's Mike's Meat Minute. So now back to you, James. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, like they say, if you're going down, you might as well go down swinging. Sometimes you get that last-minute hoorah of energy. And thanks to, you know, the food for that, I guess. But, uh, yeah, man, uh, have fun on this episode. Can't wait for uh, this weekend, and then uh, maybe after all the fucking shits, uh, you know, things get to slow down but speed up during this holiday season, we can get a couple things going. Maybe a little bonus stuff. Who knows? But you know mm-hmm. what I know is that uh, we don't get to do bonus stuff unless we're here on the next day, unless we're here on tomorrow. The only way you make it to tomorrow is to kick out at two today, because when life gets you down, you just kick out at two, because that's what we do. And that's what you do on your show, The Kickout Crew. So uh, I guess uh, let's have fun. And hey, we'll see you next week. Goodbye. We're back. Where's the stop? <laughs> Why is it stopping? Recording forever, guys. <laughs> I hit the damn.